fulfillment. Today, Rick flourishes as a mentor, guiding individuals to train their minds to manifest their aspirations effectively. Through his thriving business, he empowers people to establish patterns aligned with their desires, enabling them to consistently attract abundance into their lives. So we welcome Rick on this show. Here we go. Hi, Rick. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I know. And I'm so grateful the connection that we were we have been able to have. I don't know if it's been a year or two now. I don't even know. Time's been so elusive lately, right? <laughs> About a year and a half. But it seems yeah, like please. forever. It feels like forever. Yeah, exactly. It feels like I've known you forever. Because like we are. We are um, spirit family coming together. So we've known each yeah. other in many other realms, many other dimensions. And now here on this time. Isn't this great? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So let's, I know, and this is, this is a touchy subject as far as rejection. I know even for myself, it's, um, it, it hurts, you know, it sucks. It sucks when we feel rejected, right? It's like, oh, that does not feel good for me. It's one of my least favorite um, emotions and feelings here because, because I love connecting so much. I love, um, uh, right. Being in a heart centered connection with people. And if I, if I feel I'm, I'm, um, being rejected by others, which we'll talk about first. And then actually it's because we're actually rejecting parts of ourselves, which is really the mm -hmm. sweet spot. Yeah. Then the gift is, is that we get to, um, yeah, uh, help us realize how amazing it is to live here on earth, even though it can seem very difficult and challenging. And then once we can wake up and recognize that we are the creators of our lives, the co-creators, and when we can connect with our divinity aspects with us, our spirit parts of us, then things do get better. Because then we know that things are happening for us, things are actually happening through us. And it is us in, in the highest level that of choosing just to experience the contrast, of experience the opposite of what true oneness is or true full 100% connection is. So rejection is definitely one that's like the opposite. So Whew, would you love to share um, your experience coming onto this planet? Uh, yeah, even in the womb, at that level, this is how we're affected, actually, right? And then, yeah, and and, and um, share more about like how it's affected your life. And then we will be diving into how you were able to make those changes, how I've been able to make those changes, and how we really can, we actually can make these changes. And then it's even more potent and even more beautiful once you, we have reached to the other side of acceptance and unity. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I did it. I experienced rejection before I came out of the womb. Um, my parents took a contraceptive and when they found out that, um, they were having a child, my dad reacted and said, this is a problem. And mm -hmm. even though I don't remember consciously, it was recorded subconsciously. So, um, yeah, I, I feel like, um, I reacted to that. I reacted to rejection and rejected myself probably in that moment. And then um, pretty much after that, I was I, my whole pretty much life, childhood at least, childhood and, and, and up to mid-adulthood, uh, experienced rejection probably be most likely because I rejected myself. I didn't mm -hmm. think I was good enough for wow. anything. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then in those pieces, do, do, you, do you realize, I know for myself, I definitely realized it, that we really developed like a human design system, we'll call it the not self or uh, with psyche, we're going to be talking about psyche here is that the, the limiting belief. So we just created uh, an identity of ourselves really mm -hmm. and of the mm -hmm. world. We do both of those things, especially our first seven years, because it helps us. It helps us to live here. It helps us to survive. It helps us to manage, you know, all the things happening to us, right? And yet, as a as a little one, we're very literal. We take everything whoop, to the bank, everything right there, right straight, exactly as it was said, exactly how it was felt, and then we do interpret it very personally. I know, I know, I certainly did too, right? So then, yeah. Even underlay of rejection and I, I know especially for myself is then i thought oh boy then there must be something wrong with me then so that's getting down into shame energy even that oh, that even humiliation or helplessness or just so separate probably as far as separate as you can be from your true essence or, or divinity right with yeah. that and then and then and then the world will begin to start showing you those things too which is really kind of interesting and then you, you kind of realize yeah. okay i'm an i know i'm an outsider i get i'm i don't i know i'm not a typical here <laughs> But yeah, yeah you're, there's nothing you're wrong tapping with that. Into, you're tapping into what, exactly what I was thinking is the, the patterns that we build off of that. Like 
we see um, rejection maybe from our parents and then we carry that we 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 fixate on it and um, uh, we just give it a lot of energy and then we start to see that in other areas of our lives um, and our friendships and um, you know maybe we're as a child trying to get into a sport and you know we're automatically judging ourselves and comparing ourselves to others and um, how much better they are than we are and um, actually rejecting ourselves just by doing that. Mm, wow. Wow. Yeah. 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 Woo -hoo. So let's talk about like things that have happened in your life and then that has helped you with this because I mean, it's actually here for of us, for us, which seems kind of crazy because you're thinking, how can rejection be something that's for me, right? That even that's a paradox in itself, right? Are you okay to yeah. share that? Well, um, yeah, I mean, I feel like pretty much any adversity is here for us because we have to know like what not to do in order to know what to do or what not to experience in order to experience what we want to experience. So we have to go through that. Otherwise, we're not going to know any any anything about it. Mm, yeah. So, what what are some gifts that it may have brought you um, now that you have you did move through it when you recognize right? No, I'm tired of this. I'm sick of this. This is ridiculous. And no, like yeah. I mean, however you you got to the point yeah. where you're saying something's got to mm -hmm. change. Yeah. It just it just brought more resolve and more um, commitment and just. <clears throat> That it, it gave me the opportunity to get to know myself versus like everybody saying, believe this, do this, this will get you here, this will get you there. But I noticed that following what other people's patterns actually leads to me going in circles. <laughs> so I ended up just uh, taking time to get to know myself, get to know what I really want. Um, I also feel i was talking to someone um a couple of weeks ago and he, he was telling me about this book that he read where like people are actually made to believe that they want things that they don't actually want so mm -hmm. i feel like that's probably um a lot of what what a lot of people are, are going through but if you take the time well i took the time to get to know myself I'm comfortable with being alone. I'm comfortable with um, being uh, like attracting certain frequencies, like certain people to me, like very specific. I'm not like, I need to be around a bunch of people. It's very specific people. Like if you're, if you're working on your, your, your individuality and your, your spirituality, you know, then I, I, I probably want to get to know you. So oh i love it that's cool yeah and a gift with that is that you're tapping into your heart's desires right you're tapping into right. what's brings what brings rick joy what brings you joy what brings you delight yeah. right isn't that nice yeah and yeah getting to know yourself is, is really important I, don't, I feel like we don't have it we don't really give ourselves that opportunity Wow. Yeah, no, that's very true. Very true. Yeah. And you're right. And it probably it does. It may take me being some tough decisions, right? Like moving, like changing, like you've done some big, big shifts in your life, you know, recently, right? And it took, yeah. it took that courage, right? The courage and the willingness and then the decision to just, yes, trusting it to go and just do it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, I love it. Love it. Whew, so with with rejection, let's um, there's probably different um. Hmm. probably levels of it. I would, I can imagine, you know, where I'm seeing some people probably have had extreme levels, which it sounds like you probably did. I think you had some pretty rough, rough stuff happening in your childhood. Mm -hmm. um, and even having it have helped you become even more resilient. So like what you said is that it helped you um, start asking key questions with yourself to, to, to discover who am I? What do I desire? You know, what do I want to do? And, and, and really be able to tune out all the other people attempting to program you. Is that right? What exactly. Yeah. 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 Isn't that neat? Isn't that neat? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then how were you able to move through even like the forgiveness gateway, letting go gateway? Because I know those are really important pieces. You know, when we do feel rejected, I mean, it is important to feel it because we are meant to feel here. It just the key comes in. We're not meant to stay there. 
you know, we're not meant to just, you know, keep repeating it over and over and over in the same, in that, just that suffering right. and never, things never ending, things never changing, right? The gift is, is that if it's actually there, that's actually, if, if you can just imagine if it's here for you and it's happening through you, exactly, then we can even tap into those other pieces that you even just talked about as far as aspects of rejecting yourself. Would you like to share a little bit more about that? Yeah. Um, the way that I've been able to let go is just realizing that um, <clears throat> everything is there. Like you said, everything there is there for you. So like if I'm going to hold on to something, um, it, it's teaching me something. So by letting go, um, well, first of all, what I do, what I do in my, my work is I help people out. Um, utilize the mind as a generator so you're generating something so like if I'm if I'm holding on to something some offense that someone did towards me I'm generating an emotion and what is emotions are powerful so what is that what emotion am I generating you know is it is it anger is it love you know if it's if it's worth holding on to to generate that specific emotion because I know emotions are going, you know, energy, emotions are energy in motion. They, they determine how I perceive my reality. They determine how I, what I attract to me and they determine the health of my body. So, you know, I, I just having that awareness of letting, letting go to of, of is going to, what it's going to generate. Wow. Wow. What a great analogy, right? Yeah. If we can just imagine ourselves, right, as generators and then the gift of the mind, you know, mm -hmm. that can, help. and we get the free will choice, right? So we can choose the positive or the negative. We can choose, we do get free will choice and that that's like everything actually. <laughs> and yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's people's timings, you know, because I think maybe some people, I know for myself, I was trained by my mom. My mom was really good at denial. And, and she, I had a great mom, actually. I really was very blessed with my mom and a very good dad. But, you know, I had more of, oh, I had to grow a lot of things with my um, issues with my with relationship with my dad just because his heart, you know, was closed off. I could feel it was closed off. But, yeah, you know, they act like, oh, everything's just fine and good. But then, of course, I interpret my own interpretations as a little girl like oh there must be something wrong with me right that's that bit of rejection yeah that bit of, yeah. why doesn't my dad love me like want to cuddle me and you know listen to me and pay attention to me you know and, and be a big part of my life no he want he drank he came back from vietnam he was a marine and mm -hmm. he was doing the best he could and then there were also 10 other kids around the house and then i even had a younger sister so there were 12 total that yeah and not, not a lot to a get lot. a whole lot of attention when you have yeah. a lot of siblings. And, a lot of siblings are fun, but it is quite chaotic. But with that, I know even for myself, thank goodness, um, what we get to do here is when things are not working out well for us, um, the the gift is, is like you say, let yourself feel it. You know, let yourself um, identify it. And then if you don't like it, you can change it. And that's really what it comes down to. And, and they, it could be like, you could be frustrated. You could be angry. You could be sick of this. You could be um, yeah, you just don't like it. Like it's enough of like, I'm tired of this or I don't yeah. like this or something has to change. Usually yeah. that's, that's the, the timing of, woo. now you can step into the courage and the willingness to start asking key questions. So what would be some very important questions? And then we are going to take a short break shortly here, but just, um, what would be one really important question somebody asks themselves if they are really getting sick, sick and tired of, um, what they're doing now? I mean, that's, that's, that, that that's that could be anything like what am i gonna do like i mean and just i think it's more about spent taking the time to reflect and contemplate the question and without judgment versus like get asking the question and, and then like looking up the answer online or something okay i love that yeah giving that space that space that reflection that really starting to contemplate right Contem really, yeah. really come up because we actually have the answers within us don't we yeah come yeah to you. we are we are going to take a short break now and when we come back let's dive in a little more deeply about asking key questions because i think asking key questions is a super gateway for people and then that can help lead them into where they can find the solutions and we're going to help them with the solutions that have happened for us and then if they want to do it too they can come jump on board sound good <laughs> okay so we'll take a short break now. I am Mary Mazer. You're on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We'll be right back.
what if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern, on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy easysense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them. We discover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Welcome back. I'm Mary Mazur, and this is uh, Rick Chalmers. And uh, this is Change Your Funk to Fun. And this is episode three. Sh um, this is shifting rejection into acceptance and unity. So welcome back, Rick. Yeah, let's talk in a little more deeply about the, um, I know exactly, about reflection. Like you say, when, you, when somebody is at the point where they, you know, something's got to change, like, or they're sick and tired of how it is, you know, whether it's their health or relationships, careers, finances, there's going to be something that is actually going to get their attention because it's supposed to, it's meant to, because we are meant to clear out all the contrasting experiences we had as a child, because we did experience a lot of contrasting experiences that then right, are, are ready to be healed because they, they yeah. can turn into wounds. If they can turn into wounds if they're not healed. And that's the key is actually clean them, purify them, listen to them, reflect in them so that we can move it into you, us expanding even more into our love. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have to step out into a world where everybody's experienced those contrasting experiences and then mesh everything together. So. Right. Well, and have compassion, have compassion for those because yeah. we go through it too. Yeah, exactly. And the gift with that one is that, well, that's another piece I definitely want to talk about is merging versus connecting. Cause that's a huge thing that came to me recently. Um, yeah. Why don't we we'll talk about it now? And then that we can kind of reflect back to the reflection again. So I know um, there's a there's a book called Five Personality Patterns, a really great book that explains a lot of our five coping skills that we will do depending on if we didn't master the developmental phases that we were supposed to at from zero to seven. And I know for me, I was right out of the gate. Same with you. Like I was fearful, felt rejected. Well, I, my mom actually they actually wanted me, even though I was number 11. Like I, I think I think my mom was pretty exhausted, but mm -hmm. um, I think, I think she was like, all right, well, we can handle another one. But, um, but I just didn't feel safe in my environment. It was during a very radical time in America where it was a civil rights movement was happening right in our hometown. And, um, and so, yeah, it was a like fear. It, I didn't feel safe or secure. So I left my body. I'm like, I'm out of here. I'm going to stay committed. I'm going to stay connected to the spirit world and be mm -hmm. like the leader personality, they call it. And then I also shifted into merging and actually a compensated merger. Cause I, I, I guess as a little child, I didn't get the needs met that I thought I w was supposed to have. Like, you know, if you're crying, like someone comes and gets you and helps you. No, it's like, figure it out, kid. You know, I got to sleep. It's like, what? So I learned how to suck my thumb and learned how to make sounds and learned how to be self-sufficient at a very young age because I had to take care of myself. That was pretty much what I was taught. With that merging though, and then there's other people with merging that will feel be too dependent where they won't what they'll do the opposite instead of being self-reliant they aren't they aren't able to grow up yet they feel like they're they they don't have the um self-worth 
or the confidence or um, those areas of, um, and they, they definitely don't think they're going to get their needs met, but they don't think that, you know, they can even do it. So it's even at the other end. So there's a whole spectrum that many of us may have certain pieces with this. Right. The gift then is to recognize that. Then what, what we did as kids in this coping what I certainly did is I merged with other people. So I would just merge with others. I would lose myself and then literally become like them. And like you say, absorb all of their beliefs, absorb all of their programming and to try and fit in, to try and be accepted, right? Instead of rejected, things like that. But what happens is we, we do lose ourselves and then we can get very drained and exhausted because we're not even our own energy, beautiful generators like you talked about. So recently what I've been doing, especially with using the gift of Psyche, and then I also have my, I have a whole spirit team that helps me now, which is awesome, <laughs> is um, the, the Council of Light helps a lot with me, is they um, helped me with recognizing that I now shifted using the gift of Psyche, because Psyche helps you just rechange change those programs. And we'll talk about that. It's a very fast, effective way, flipping from negative to positive. Flipping like if you feel rejected, okay, how would you rather be? What is your heart saying? Oh, I am accepted. I, I am unified with my own self. And then you literally rewrite the programs in the subconscious mind, which is pretty awesome. And then you begin to vibrate, like you say, in a higher frequency, you begin to, your generator machine starts really kicking in much better, <laughs> more energetic, things like that. Yeah. What I also did, which was helpful, is I shifted out of that merging coping skill and then elevated myself up into connecting. I love connecting and I can connect with my heart center and still keep my energy pure and clean and whole and in the high vibrations while I can be with other people when they're in their density or contraction or, you know, if they, they have a lot of programs that they still think they're, be, they're rejected or they're not included or they, you know, not wanted or they think something's wrong with them. And the gift with that is that I can still love them unconditionally and accept them with the connection of the heart while still staying in my energy field of my love as best I can. And this is, I'm still, we're all, we're all works in progress here with this. So I'm still being very conscious, like you say, of how am I feeling? How am I vibrating? How, how am I perceiving my situation? And um, yeah, so I just want to throw that out there. Of, um, are of you thinking. able to like, are you able to stay in, stay with like people in that energy field for like a consistent amount of time, like a, a long time or well the gift is i'm hardly ever around anybody like that anymore because that's what happens it yeah. kind of shifts where you're just not even around them anymore they just don't even come around you anymore i'm like oh, isn't this nice and then the world i'm in people are like so nice and i just went through a really crazy experience i went through in january and even the people that i was dealing with them were actually nice so i'm like well there you go because i choose to be nice with others and let that mm -hmm. energy be out kind and the kindness returns and it, it's genuine it's authentic it's real it's from my yeah. heart and yeah. that's what we're learning how to cultivate is just be you. Let yourself re access the love of who we are. When you can do that, then things will start to shift. And it is important to clear out those old programs, clear out like, like the rejection programs and to replace it with what you want because you don't just clear things out. We actually replace things. So get very clear right. of what you want. And that's what I want to help you. Yeah. So if you're okay to, to share a bit more of like maybe some of the reflection, like you said, of what happened a bit, just a bit of your childhood and, young adult years and then how you were able to move through your transformation because you, yeah I, I admire you greatly Rick you have um you, I love I love I know I love how you are um embracing life regardless of what you went through as a young child it, it's actually really amazing it's very inspirational so thank you okay yeah. well thank you I appreciate that mm -hmm. um so I don't know the the time that I spent in Okay, so I, I I saw a psychologist a lot. I was conditioned to go to a psychologist because they know everything. They're specialists, and they wore the white coat, you know, that says I I know, I know what you don't. I can. So, um, but after just realizing that they psychiatrists, for instance, they prescribe you drugs. The drugs release chemicals in your brain that make you feel good and the psychologists get me to talk about my problems I was manifesting that reality over and over and it just kept growing and expanding and getting bigger so I just became aware I just I said I they conditioned me to reflect on my problems mm -hmm. um so um when I started asking myself questions um I honestly the voice the inner guidance system said, just 
do the opposite of everything you've been doing. So I had to take the time to reflect on everything I've been giving my attention to um, problem wise and think of reflect on solutions um, a lot of time, a lot of time in, in reflection. So reflection is very, very positive experience. If you do it without self judgment and, um, you know, just analyzing without, you know, again, without judgment towards yourself and without judgment towards others. Mm, yeah. So the gift with that is right. If you can just imagine, right. So if you just say, if, if, if I could solve this, what could I do? And then really what we offer here is that you really are entering into your heart center. Now you're leaving your mind because the mind is helpful, but it's meant to be a servant to the heart. We are heart center beings. We're meant to lead from our hearts, lead from our true essence, mm -hmm. which is our love and our connection with our divinity, our connection with our spirit, our connection with the all knowingness of all the universe. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And the, and that's exactly what you did. Instead of staying stuck in the problem of keep reflecting back on the problem, which will keep you stuck. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's it. Oh, how would you rather it be? Okay. So that is the situation that that was what, what you were. It's actually the past. It's actually like staying stuck in the past, right? Yeah. Instead, exactly. in the present moment and in this present moment, how would you rather be right? How, how would you prefer to be? What would bring joy to you or love or healing peace? Yeah. Accept yeah. unity, things like that. And then, woo. So what happened then? How did you like start writing things down? Did you start? Um, I started su studying successful people and then um, doing what they did. But at the same time, so I, I got into like doing vision boards and um, I started to attract things to me. But at the same time, um, when I took my attention off of what was on the vision board, the old program would come back and I would lose what I gained. And then um, at this, so that that helped me determine that my frequency wasn't high enough to, to maintain the consciousness of what I put on the vision board. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It does. So, and it's great to recognize it, which is awesome, yeah. right? Because you have a desire there, but how do you become that? Because the desire yeah. is there for you to go be, actually become it as if you already have it. Like already yeah. getting that gratitude, that appreciation, the reverence, the bliss of it. And then exactly see how, how, right. How it can actually start showing up in your life. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I was led, I was guided to Psyche and Psyche helped me um, with raising my frequency and maintaining um, those, those patterns. At the same time, um, I still do vision boards now because I was conditioned to think so small that I have to keep conditioning myself to, to think bigger. So I have oh, like I 50 <laughs> vision boards on just a lot of it's the same stuff, just in different, I don't know. They're all patterns. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love it. I love it. Well, and good for you because we are, we're sensual beings. We're meant to see, we're meant to hear, we're meant mm -hmm. to feel, we're meant to touch, right? Even smell and taste. And it's, it's, it, it's helpful. It lets us, when we can see something, it helps, it helps your vision become clear, right? It helps you get mm -hmm. very focused into what you do truly, really want. And then do you, do you ask yourself when you do the vision boards, why do I want this? Like, um, yeah. and help with that. Yeah. Yeah. What's I, ask bring myself, I ask myself, uh, yeah. Why do I want it? Um, all the, all the questions who, what, when, why, how, you know, Ooh. Oh, I love it. Yeah. And then that helps you land in. Yeah. And we, um, we are going to take a short break now. And when we come back, if you want, maybe if you can move your cam camera over, we can see some of your, your vision boards if you want. So I think that'd be really kind of cool. Cause now we're going to be moving into going from the rejection contrasting experiences that you had. And even I had too, as a little one to where we are now with, with the acceptance of ourselves more acceptance, well, definitely acceptance, acceptance of ourselves, just acceptance and unity and letting ourselves um, keep expanding in that. Isn't that nice to just, um, Ooh, what else can we do with this? That's what I love to do. I love the, Ooh, what, how can we expand? So we are going to take a short break. I'm Mary Mazur. You're on the bold brave TV network. This is change your funk to fun. We'll be right back. 
Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Mm. All right, I'm Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We have Rick Chalmers here, uh, helping to share about vision boards and Psyche and his transformation from experiencing rejection into acceptance and unity. And for me too, for all that we um, are expanding and growing in. So thank you. Thank you, Rick. Um, yes, would you love to show one of your uh, vision boards and you can uh, share about how you help people with um, Help getting very clear of what they really do want, and then uh, and then even how you help with psyche to help them with changing their programs. That'd be great. Because okay. this is the part about living in acceptance and unity with ourselves. Even if we did experience rejection, we can uh, ch transform it. We can heal it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Well, here's one vision board. So these are cut are handmade. They're handmade. Um, so what I do is I I create this bo the board, and you just add the stuff to it. So the board has certain words that are linked, associated with each level of mind versus, you know, conscious, subconscious, super conscious. And then you have two glue boards, a, either dry erase or a chalk and a pin board. And the reason why, like, you have this is whatever you put on this board is going to start looping in your mind. And then you're going to attract a thought that's just like that. So you could either write it, write that thought that comes to your mind down or pin it or print it up and pin it on the board, whatever you think. But you just keep attracting higher frequency thoughts because it's looping and then you build your frequency that way. And by um, doing um, psyche balance, this is working at the conscious level, going into the, the subconscious and to the quantum field. But at, when you do Psyche, that sends energy in motion, which is in the form of emotion towards the, the, the image, the thought. So you're linking thought with feeling and raising your frequency and you're able to perceive what you want on the board from a higher frequency. If that makes sense. Yeah, no, I love it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I love it. So I love how there's four corners mm -hmm. and then you help, you help people. And then I know even for you, you, I know you sent to me, there's some questions. You'll ask them some key questions, like you say, yeah. and then I get them started to help them just begin. Right. Do they tend to have All a right. focus? They say, do you tend to keep it in one focus? Like, Hey, I just want to do about relationships or I just want to do about my career or about my no, health. I, 
there can be a I variety. Them, they I have them write down um, <clears throat> big, like where would they like to see themselves five, ten years from now, um, and you know, write down like a ten list. So ten things that you want you would like to accomplish by then, and then by uh, when it's time to to choose what how what to put on the board, I ask them what what pulls at their heart, what tugs at their heart the most. And mm -hmm. usually there's that one thing. And then that's the one thing we put on the board because it's all about the feeling, the emotion, you know, that draw, you know, it's magnetism. So we're using mm -hmm. that magnetism at the conscious level and then using psyche at the subconscious level, just mm -hmm. letting those gears work together. Oh, I love it. I love it. I know. It's exciting. It's exciting. Would you like yeah. to share a story or two about like even anyone you've helped with the vision board or even with your own self, the, the difference you've, you've seen? Well, I have a, I have a friend that, um, I mean, we were just acquaintances at first, but, um, we knew each other when we went to the school that taught, uh, metaphysics for a little bit. And, um, we talk off and on, um, and we would go to this Unity Church, and um, I noticed her at the Unity Church, and she was sad, and she, like, the friends that we, we hung out with um, were talking about how her husband cheated on her, and, um, or her, 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 her boy, they've been together for a long time, but I, I started talking to her about, like, I can help you, um, let's do a vision board, let's do um psyche with the vision board so she's like what do i got to lose went ahead with it um she created the the vision board about independence and then um um we did psyche balances around that and this was like a year and a this is almost two years ago and now like now um like her life changed like within a couple months but not only that like now she's just obsessed with the vision board she's like you're right it just loops in your mind over and over and like um she just i i, I just see myself doing certain things and uh, i mean her her life is just better i have a friend you know that just recently she made me a a dream catcher to hang in my car um, because uh, as a, as a thank you for doing the same thing, um, Psyche with the vision board, I mean, her, 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 uh, intention was growth and expansion. And so I've had to coach her through that as well, because when you grow, you have to shed off the old and, um, you know, you have to experience difficulty and, um, when she was experiencing difficulty, I was pointing out to her, like, this is what you asked for. <laughs> so this is what you're getting. And um, like, she was able to piece it together when she reflected on it, so. Wow, right, yeah. And how is it serving her, right? It's serving her in some yeah. way while the game, right? Yeah, and then, yeah. And then how, to, how to flip it, right? Whether it's her self-worth or forgiveness or unconditional love, right? Letting go of that judgment, things like that, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and for me, like I make the board, I make a board, I make a vision board and like within two to three weeks, I start to see um, synchronicities and opportunities and um, yeah, it just flows. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's kind of like the new magic here, right? It can be the like new, yeah. uh, I know. Because it helps us get focused. It helps you keep your mind on that instead of the junky stuff or the things you don't like huh. or the things that's not working, right? Because wherever we put our focus, that's exactly what we're going to magnetize to us. Isn't yeah. That, we're that powerful. Yeah. 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 And, and keeps a consistent flow of energy on, on what we want as well. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And then a, a big piece, are you with like, um, celebrate, like celebrating or say yes, when you do arrive, because sometimes people will want yeah. people wanting more and more and more, but it's like, okay, yeah. it's great to have stuff and achieve it. But how about, yes, I've arrived. I did it. You know? Well, the, well, the thing about the vision board is not about achieving or getting something from like, I teach it as you're building patterns. So mm -hmm. as you build patterns and get what you want, uh, of what you put on the board 
that's going to seep into the other areas of your life, but you still have to give it attention in order to build those patterns and see, you know, those other opportunities where it's just a state of being instead mm -hmm. of like manifesting. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. I love the state of being because you, you're helping people, right? Sh raise their vibration so they can be in the flow energy instead of the suffering energy, right? The contracted right. energy be in the right. expanded energy instead of the contracted energy. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then who knows? Maybe sometimes they even receive even more than what they imagine. Like they even were trajectory for that. Yeah. And then all, of a sudden, woo, all these other pieces fall in, right? And you're like, I didn't even, I wasn't even focusing on that. And then all those came in too, because they're all connected, right? <laughs> yeah. And it's good to like be self-reliant and, you know, not have to go to someone and, and like get what they, their perception of it. Cause you know, whatever, it's not bad to, to re like be open to someone else's perception, but not to take it on because you have your own patterns. They have their own patterns and you know, the results that they get are going to be different because your patterns are different. Exactly. We, we actually are our own universes. Isn't that wild here? Like, I know we do. We really are based on our own unique beliefs that we created based on the filters, based on the experiences that we each had. Yeah, it really is quite fascinating. And we can honor and respect each other for the diversity because it's yeah. a gift. And that each one of us are mirrors for each other too, which is really pretty amazing, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Because even with that, when there's people that are very successful and are living in the synchronicities and the flow of life and beautifulness, they're here to show us that we can do it too. That's the whole point. Right. So yeah. instead of being, oh man, I can't have that or I can't, have, well, really? Really, you might want to check on that one because how about let's drop into what were some of those childhood wounds you had, like rejection right. <laughs> or the pieces that could be playing in. And guess what? Catch them. Like I love to help people do is, is begin to be a really great noticer. The more, and that's more of our feminine energy is to begin to notice and feel, right? And then to, and, and then to decide, do you like it or not? Because we have a right in our free will choice whether we like something or not. We do. Mm. We get you. You might like something that I don't like. I might like something you don't like. We can still respect each other and honor each other. That's the gift. Don't try and change anybody or try and, you know, have them to get to like it like I do. No, right. just be good with what you like. You get, we get to have our preferences. Yeah. As long as we're doing no harm or hurting anybody, we get to be in the amazingness of this world. And, and then, like what I love what you're doing with the vision boards and then connecting it with, with the gift, the precious gift of Psyche, is that uh we literally are anchoring in the the new world here the heaven on earth here this is really we're, we're leaving the battlefield we're leaving the 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 pirate ships right how about we jump onto the love boat yeah there we go in the sailboat yeah and take us to our love land into our heavenly land and it's actually within us it's not even outside of us and that's the biggest gift right even though yes we put the vision boards out to see it on the physical and on outside of you because we are in this physical world the gift, I'm sure what it is with your vision boards is when they're doing it or when you're doing it, how are you feeling when you're doing it? Are you into it? And that's mm -hmm. everything. You're like, yes, I want that. Woo, put that on there. Yes, this is what I want to you know, go for. This is the challenge that I want to be able to, oh, can I really do that? Yes. Can you really? <laughs> and then let, uh, like it be fun. You... let the fun come in, right? Yeah. I like what you said about um, like not um, <clears throat> just, just accepting other people's perceptions and not like judging them. Cause I feel like there's a lot of shame that is projected onto people for what they believe. And it's okay for you to, to, to follow your path and, and believe what you believe as long as it works for you. And for me, not to shame you for it because it doesn't work for me or because I don't see it from your per perspective. Exactly. And that's super huge to, to, sh to, to, to catch that and to change that because that was the old way. That's how our parents, a lot of our yeah. parents raised us is fear and shame. Like my mom would be like, you know, just wait till your dad gets home. Just wait till your dad gets home. So I'm like in fear for like hours because not knowing what my dad's gonna do, especially because he drank a lot. So it's like, oh my goodness, you know, the unknown and the scariness, right? And they didn't know what to do. Our parents did the best they could. That's all they got. They got it from their parents and their parents right. and their parents. It's been thousands of years of this lineage of this fear. Gotta stop. And now we're switching it to love. And it's like, yes, ooh, how is it? Do? How would you like to feel? And then start creating it in the new. We are going to take another short break. When we come back, we're going to have people um, find out how they can reach you, Rick. If they'd love to do a vision board, love to have Psyche um, okay. assistance with you. Um, so we will take a short break. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We'll be right back. 
Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Welcome back. I'm Mary Mazur. This is Rick Chalmers. This is... You are on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun, episode three for this uh, new series of shifting rejection into acceptance in unity. So yes, Rick, let's um, we're going to land in here. The last bit about this podcast here of of exactly maybe some wisdom you can share since what you you've done this for your own self and you're helping many others do it too. Of um, what what can someone do? And, and like how you, I love um, if you want to bring up even just the perception of rejection and then what we can do to shift it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So most, most times it's not, it doesn't have to be someone's rejecting you. It, it could just be your perception that someone's rejecting you based off of, you know, prior experience. So, um, you know, it, it's important to develop that awareness and do that through self-reflection, asking yourself questions, and then you know, focusing on what you want. Most of us focus on what we don't want. So when we know what we don't want, what is the opposite of that? Focus on that. So what is the opposite of rejection? <laughs> Acceptance. Yeah. Isn't that great? Yes, exactly. And then, and then you can ask those questions. So how can I accept all parts of myself, right? Maybe we have even done things that we rejected our own parts of ourselves will or judged ourselves about, right? Are we able to forgive yeah. ourselves? Are we able to let that go? Are we able to realize we just did the best we could? We didn't know what we didn't know. We don't ever do. If we did know, we knew we'd do different. So we only can do what we can do with what we have, right? Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah. asking, you know, asking those questions and just allowing, well, first of all, uh, like, seeing the world as a mirror like if you see like if i see that mary is rejecting me um what is what am i seeing that mary is rejecting me for and then because i carry that perception knowing that because i carry that i'm rejecting myself in that way so ask myself that question where am i rejecting what i think mary is rejecting me because I'm projecting that. Does that make right. sense? Yeah, it does. It does. And that's, that takes a lot of courage and, and, and the awareness to realize, wow, if I'm really creating the life of everything in my life and it's based on the beliefs I have. So what, and it can just do it gently by saying what aspect at the subconscious level 
of me, what aspect of me might be doing that? Because a lot of your parts of you might not be doing that, but there might be one little part that's doing it and that's what's going to show up. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. And it's subconscious, so you're not even aware of it. <laughs> so that's what's great is that the world lets you know because it will come to you. <laughs> Sometimes when you least expect it and you're like, what? Yeah. And that's where the gift comes in is that you, in your love, you can begin to accept yourself again. And then you'll have to ask those questions. What do I need to believe? Or what will I need to change about my perceptions about things so that I can accept myself? What, what can I, right? How can I be in that new way? And so it could be just about, wow, that, that I can actually, um, I don't have to be a perfectionist. I can actually just accept myself just as I am and know that I'm always doing the best I can in each moment. Like even little things like that. It's like so huge, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So this is awesome. But yeah, so I love this. I absolutely, absolutely love this. So if someone would love to get a hold of you, how, how is the best way for them to be able to reach you? Uh, they could just go to my website, redefinedbydesign.com. I just put uh, some other con ways to contact me on that, on my website. So that's going to be the best way. Perfect. So go to your website. I love it. Yeah. And at least inquire about it. Right. And now, and I, and I look forward to coming down to visit you and doing my own vision, vision board too. And, uh, I've never done one before. Isn't that amazing? So I'm, I'm excited about it too. And I, I do do psyche with myself, but I can definitely get the piece with the vision board, which I'm super excited about. So thank you Rick, for offering that for me. And then if anyone would like to reach me, I do, t I am a certified psyche instructor. So that's where Rick, you came to one of my divine integration retreats, which is a higher aspect of psyche. Uh, that yeah. yes, I love, I love, yeah, the psyche tool is just such a precious, precious angelic tool here that helps us easily and effectively make those changes when we're ready for it. And I do private sessions so people can do one on one sessions. And I also have um, some pretty um, beautiful spiritual giftings that are opening up to that. Um, yeah, people can have access to that too <laughs> if they would. So love that. <laughs> so they can go to my website, ignite and heal your life.com ignite and heal your life.com. Um, the upcoming workshops that I'm having in a couple weeks, I'm teaching in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and this is February 16th to the 18th at a beautiful Vitalist Institute. They do beautiful work there at Vitalist Institute. So we're also bringing in Psyche there. Um, you can go to my website if you want to look for information more about if you'd like to learn Psyche like you did. It's a three-day workshop where you actually learn this tool and you can use it for yourself on a daily basis, which I've been doing for 14 years, which is really cool. <laughs> and I'm so grateful because I was able to heal myself from any rejection that I um, created as 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 a a way of being here. No, I I I prefer to be accepted here. So this is way better and and be united, be way more united. Um, I'm also offering online workshops because of people if they wanted to stay from the comforts of their home, they can begin at the first level that I teach is working with yourself first, and which is a great place to start. And that's on um, February 22nd to the 24th. So my website also has that. I'm also offering one in March in case February is too early then. Oh, I'm sorry. So February 23rd to the 25th, February 23rd weekend, a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then March 22nd to the 24th um, is also another offering. In April, I'll be in Florida the first weekend of April, April 5th, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. People would love to go down to the warm weather and learn Psyche. In May, I'll be near Asheville the first weekend in May, May 3rd, and then May 14th in Knoxville, Tennessee. So I love going all over. I love sharing this. I love meeting new people where our spirit families come together. It's such a gift, such a gift with this. Yeah. So is there um, last few words you'd love to share? Uh, to inspire people to um, to take the leap to to begin either learn psyche or uh, do a vision board something. <laughs> Give yourself a chance. Yeah, I love it. Thank you. That's right. Just give yourself a chance. Just begin. Take a step. Make a call. Look at the website. Just that alone, because if it's here and, you're, and they're listening to this talk, it means they're already curious. They're already looking. They're already going. And that, that's the biggest gift of all. And that's what we're here for. We're here for the ones that are ready yeah. to make a change. And that's everything. All, that, all the answers are within you. And, you know, we can we can help you tap into that. Exactly. It is such a gift. Thank you. Thank you, Rick, for being on the show. Thank you for giving of your heart and helping so many Thank people. You. It's such a blessing. You're such a blessing. Um, such a gift yeah. to know you. Thank you. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. Have a fantastic day. 
This has been Change Your Funk to Fun with host Mary Mazur. Tune in each week and ignite the courage within you to take meaningful changes in your life and allow the fun, joy, and love in your life to awaken. Wednesdays, 3 p.m. here on the Bold Brave TV Network.